Wee Tiang Gai, China's ambassador to the United States. Wikipedia. By Owen Churchill, China's ambassador to the U.S. said on Tuesday that the goodwill and wisdom of the Chinese and American people would carry the countries through a tense period in their relations and that we have heard enough of trade war threats and territorial saber rattling. Speaking weeks before a highly anticipated face-to-face -face meeting between U.S. President Donald Trump and his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping at the G20 summit in Argentina, Kui Tiangkai said the U.S.-China relationship, which will mark its 40th anniversary next January, has made great strides. While also it has had its share of setbacks, it looks as if rivalry and confrontation became the prevailing aspect of our path ahead, said Kui, speaking during a trade war in which both countries have slapped punitive tariffs on hundreds of billions of dollars worth of imports, when our relations are at a low ebb, it is always our people who will firmly support the bonds and friendship, and turn the tide of the China-U.S. relations, he said at an event held in Washington by the China General Chamber of Commerce USA, a non-profit organization that represents Chinese businesses in the U.S. In a speech that made no direct mention of Trump or his government, Kui expressed confidence in the capacity of people-to-people -people friendship, rather than political wrestling, to carry the U.S.-China relationship forward. U.S. President Donald Trump welcomes Chinese President Xi Jinping at Mar-a-Lago State in Palm Beach, Florida, U.S., April 6, 2017. Korea Times filed ordinary and great people of China and the United States are there doing their part, he said, showing their goodwill, wisdom and magnanimity, and paving the path forward for our relations, according to research by the Pew Research Center, which monitors changing attitudes around the world, almost half of Americans held unfavorable views of China in 2017. Figures from the previous year, the most recent data available, showed 44% of Chinese respondents held unfavorable views of the U.S. over the past year, said Kui, we have heard enough of trade war threats. Assertions about strategic rivalry, saber-rattling in the South China Sea, and even unfounded accusations against Chinese students and scholars, the ambassador made no specific remarks about the current trade standoff between the U.S. and China. On Monday, Trump repeated his assertion that China was not not ready to strike a deal to bring an end to the costly dispute. As the president and his administration have increased rhetoric against China in recent weeks, including accusations of election interference and state-led forced technology transfer targeted at U.S. businesses, Kui has assumed an unusually public role in defending his government's policies and launching his own direct critiques of the U.S. approach to the relationship. Kui, who has served as China's representative to the U.S. since 2013, told NPR, National Public Radio, in the U.S. earlier this month that resolution of the trade war was being thwarted by the ever-changing position of U.S. negotiators. U.S. President Donald J. Trump, C, raises a presidential memorandum targeting what the White House termed China's economic aggression in the Roosevelt Room of the White House in Washington, D.C., USA, the 22nd of March, 2018. Korea Times Philo don't know exactly what the U.S. would want as priorities, he told the radio broadcaster, adding that, in some cases, tentative agreements between the two sides had been undone overnight. This is very confusing, and this is making things very difficult, Kui reiterated his remarks in a later interview with Fox News, saying he had no idea whether Trump's ear was held by hardliners or moderates when it came to negotiating with China. Indeed, mixed messages have become a recurring feature of the administration's approach to China during the trade war, including from the president, who has on a number of occasions made discouraging remarks about the prospect of resolution through dialogue, including talks proposed at the invitation of the U.S. Treasury. Trump also threatened on numerous occasions to put punitive tariffs on the entirety of Chinese imports to the U.S. if Beijing enacted retaliatory measures in response to Washington's latest round of duties on $200 billion of Chinese goods. Beijing did retaliate, as expected, yet the Trump administration did not follow through on the president's threats.
Those threats were given new life this week when three unnamed sources were cited by Bloomberg as confirming that the Trump administration would go through with tariffs on the remaining $260 billion of imports from China if upcoming talks between the two countries' leaders did not go well. A senior Chinese diplomatic source said on Tuesday that the two presidents had agreed to meet on the sidelines of the G20 in Buenos Aires, but would not offer details on the agenda of those discussions.